Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher and thanks for joining us for today's video, much appreciated. And guys, I gotta tell you, I am beat right now. I got up at uh, 3.30 this morning, uh, drove from Springfield to Lake of the Ozarks for my first day of the Toyota Series Tournament. Ran around about 120 miles boat riding today, drove back to Springfield the, the hour and a half drive back, worked on tackle, and uh, now I got the video I'm putting out. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to do this video based upon something that happened today, and that is what you need to do if you catch them one day and you don't catch, and the fish are gone the next day, or they're not biting. What? How can you, uh, you know, come back from that or make an adjustment now? In my situation, yesterday in practice, I had a really good day. I had probably 18 to 20 pounds of fish. I caught one bass that weighed seven pounds and three ounces. And today in the tournament, I only caught four bass that weighed about nine pounds. I didn't even get a limit. And caught a lot of short fish, but did not catch near what I was thinking I was gonna catch. And so the point is, is what do you do? It's like, what happens, what, do you, what kind of adjustments do you have to make to come back from that? Now. A lot of the times you have to make the adjustment on the water and sometimes it's more difficult than what you think because like today I was fishing around shallow brush and stumps and docks and that type of stuff and I just felt that I was and I was catching them on my old school jig and I just felt that it was a matter of covering enough of that type of water and I would get the bites and I did get the bites but they just weren't the size. But the only difference was from yesterday when I caught them really good is yesterday we had a little bit of wind, a little bit of cloud cover. Um, actually, it rained a little bit too. And today was a bluebird sky with no wind. So we had a different weather condition. Now, one of the things that I'm gonna try tomorrow, and this is another thing that what you can do as far as to keep catching them every day is you have to adapt and adjust to the conditions. So here's the mistake I made today I want you guys to learn from. I should have known about midway through the day when I was not getting the good bites I was expected to get that I needed to make a bait change. I knew I didn't have to make an area change because that was the only cover in the area. But given the fact that it was quiet with not much wind and bright sun, I should have downsized. I should have went to a small, like a little small creature bait, maybe it's two, maybe a smaller plastic worm, something like that, because those fish were probably not as aggressive with that brighter condition without the wind. But instead I stayed with the jig. And for whatever reason, those fish did not react to that. Like, you know, I expected them to do so. So one of the things you can do is if you have a real good day and then you don't catch them very good the next day, analyze the conditions as far as what changed with the conditions and try to make some type of a lure change. You can make an area change, but a lot of times it's just a matter of a bait change, especially if you're fishing around a piece of cover that you think the fish are around. So let's say for ex example, you're fishing points, you know, main lake points, and you catch them really good one day uh, on a crankbait on the points and you've got 15 mile an hour wind blowing in there. And the next day you come there and there's no wind on that point. Instead of fishing that crankbait or that moving lure, you may have to slow down with like a shaky head or a slower football head jig. So you've always got to be thinking about what do I need to try to get these fish to bite during the conditions that we find ourselves in right now. So anyway, we'll see if my theory is correct tomorrow. I'm gonna to go out there and give it a, some, make some adjustments in the same water. I'll let you guys know tomorrow how it goes and thanks for tuning in.